Hello, hello. Welcome to the HVAC Diaries. Today is Saturday, February 18th, March 3rd, April 21st, May 5th, June 17th, July 29th, August 11th, September 23rd, October 6th, November 17th, December 8th, December 31st. Well, Happy New Year to you. This year has been such a roller coaster of emotions. There has been so many highs and so many lows. I feel like more this year than ever before. I don't know how you guys feel. But I am here to bring you my first ever annual HVAC vlog. I have so much content, you guys. I have so many videos. I feel like one day, I'm going to hire somebody, I'm going to give them a whole hard drive and be like, make me something cool. Because my video editing skills, even though they've improved significantly over the last couple of years, they're still really, really basic, really amateur. And I feel like my content can be like, leveled up. But I have so many things on the go, so that's like, low priority. So yeah, this year has been quite an adventure. I have this agenda book that I use to keep myself organized. I, get, I have one every year. This one is filled with all of the things that happened during the year, all the things I had to do and all the things I did. And I got my next one ready to rock and roll. It doesn't have a sticker yet, but it is blank. So many opportunities. Before I start the actual vlog, I just want to say that HVAC just would not exist without the team behind me with my dad and my brother, I would not be here. So I'm just so grateful and thankful for them. And um, yeah, I wouldn't be here without them. And with you guys, I wouldn't be here making these vlogs if it wasn't for you guys who watched them. So thank you, thank you for supporting me and for being here, watching my vlogs and interacting with me and um, making this so exciting. I love making content for you. So let's get into it. My year started off at refrigeration school. I started my level three in November of 2022 and finished in February of 2023. So I was in school full time for the first month or so of the year. And you guys, it was tough. <laughs> I find refrigeration school to be very tough, very challenging. So yeah, I had my head buried in the books for a little while. All right, it's crunch time, guys. Um, my binder is so full that every time I turn a page, they just rip right out. So that's a bit of a problem. But, so this is what I've done. Every week, I've written myself a little like study sheet of that week. So I've got all of my formulas, and then I've got a whole page of standard conditions, because that's just information you just gotta know. But yeah, it starts here with week one with all of my little formulas. Week two, psychrometrics. What else? Oh, I spilled coffee on it the other day, which really sucks. Week three was uh, mixed air stuff. Oh, I guess I shouldn't be really outlining what we did. But yeah, so I'm just gonna refer to these for now and then read this entire binder. I wrote my final exam on February 3rd, which was a Friday. Good morning! Happy Friday! That was super stressful. We had an officiant from Service Canada come and we weren't even allowed to use our own pencils or erasers. So stressful. That's pretty much all I can say about the exam. Other than, it's over! And then on February 5th, the very next Sunday, my brother and I were on a plane to Atlanta for the AHR Expo and the HVAC Tactical Awards. The HVAC Tactical Awards were amazing. I had the cool opportunity of giving out the Lady of the Trade Award. Everyone is so beautifully dressed up and the room was stunning. I had the best time at AHR in Atlanta this year, oh my goodness. I was overwhelmed by all the people that I met, my friends that I'd met on Instagram, people that I totally admire and look up to on YouTube. Um, had the best time.
I also had an opportunity to be on the HVACR videos podcast with Chris. And I spoke on a panel, I think there were maybe 10 of us or so on a panel on the stage talking about social media for the HVACR industry. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it to AHR Chicago in like a month's time because, well, I was supposed to be doing my level four at school in January. I was supposed to start on January 8th. But because of my dad's recent health scare, I canceled school and I pushed it off until November of next year, of 2024. But that still doesn't mean that I'm going to travel to, to, to Chicago, which is giving me such FOMO. But I'll be able to get through it because I am registered and booked for CMPX in Toronto in March. So at least I got that to look forward to. If I quickly jump back a couple of weeks here in my, my vlog, on January 21st, 2023, I was invited to the Seroptimists, like a little local Seroptimists event called Dream It, Be It. And it's a career fair for girls in high schools. March was a crazy month for us. We had three like really big major jobs for us, for our little team of three. The first one was somebody's residential pool system. They, he's got, oh, I'm, do I remember this correctly? He's got a, a pool heater, but also a dehumidifier for the pool room. So basically when the pool heats, it creates all the steam and then it, it like falls down the windows and drips down the windows. So we have this dehumidification system, which removes that moisture from the air so that the windows don't drip. Okay. So he had a compressor that he had had to replace and while the compressor replacement was basically um, like standard, typical, this one was special because of where the compressor was located. It's located in this little tiny mechanical room and it's raised 8 or 10 feet. And just because of all the other stuff in that mechanical room, there's so many pipes and water pipes and this and just so much stuff. And the compressor is really heavy and awkward. We had to figure out a way, we had to devise a plan to get the compressor out and down safely and then the new one up and in through all of this stuff. And so we built a little temporary platform for somebody to actually be working up there. And we used a hoist um, chain to lift and lower the compressor. And what an experience! The second cool, big, interesting job we did in March was replace a 10-foot motor shaft in a cooling tower. The old shaft was really rusty along the whole shaft and we actually Last year, 2022, they've got two cooling towers on that roof. Last year, number one, it snapped. It was so rusty one day, just before a long weekend, mind you. The whole thing snapped. Psh, and so we had to replace it under like emergency conditions. So this one 
we wanted to do it proactively before it snapped and it was like really rusty. It's so we were proactive and we got this one done um, sort of, I guess you could call it preventative maintenance or just maintenance for this massive cooling tower. To get the old one out, we just cut it with an angle grinder into, into two parts so we could just get those parts out. But the new shaft obviously has to go all in one piece. It took five strong guys to maneuver that shaft into place and we also used the chain hoist for that job too. And such massive bearings, like I could barely pick, nah I could, but massive bearings. And we were feeling pretty chuffed with ourselves after that job. <laughs> the third and final big major job for March was a compressor at our meat supplier that we replaced. It's a 20 horsepower compressor, a semi-hermetic compressor. They've got two of them in the room. One's, one's I think 15 or 10 horsepower, but the big one died. And so my brother and I got to replace that. To get the old compressor out, we ended up using a long iron rod, like really strong. We used some eye bolts and put them into the compressor, slid the bar in. And Trevor and I together, hoofed it up. One, two, three, oh! <laughs> and we shuffled out of the room and you guys, Felt like we could do anything that day. It was pretty sweet. All right. We did it. <laughs> I got to do all the electrical work, disassembling all of the old, putting it all onto the new. And it was just a really cool experience that I got to do. Not only that, but Trevor and I, we spent the Sunday afterwards taking the compressor apart to see what we could see. And it was really interesting, A, to see the insides of a compressor that I'd learned about in school, but now I actually get to see the piston and the valve reeds and all of that cool stuff. But then also we got to see evidence of what went wrong there. There was a, actually a valve reed that was like snapped off. There was one that was completely missing uh, in the piston itself, in the, in the cylinder, there was a massive hole. So cool to see it with our very own eyes. Oh my goodness, that's a hole. That's a hole in the piston. On April 1st, April Fool's Day, I shaved off most of my hair. I shaved it maybe two weeks ago, and I shave it every like three weeks. My husband does it for me. In May, my husband and I celebrated our 10 year wedding anniversary with a trip to Jamaica. On July 26, I was invited to speak to a group of women on Vancouver Island who are going into the skilled trades. And I got to speak to them about my experiences as a woman in HVAC. Every day that you're learning stuff, you are learning and you are progressing. So regardless of how it feels like, oh my gosh, this is taking forever, you are learning and you are progressing. 
as you go. So just have a little bit of faith in that. On September 21st, I went to the Modern Hydronic Summit, which this time was local to me. Before it was in Toronto, but this year it was here in Coquitlam. And I was invited to the HPAC Educational Boiler Build, which was put on by Impetus Media. <laughs> we got to build these amazing boiler boards. There were three of them that we created in like four hours or so. And it was such a cool event to be part of. Later on in September, I did a two-day professional video shoot for Jobber. And in November, I was invited to Florida. Welcome to Florida! To attend the New Calgon's annual sales meeting. Which I had just the most fun experience traveling there. I caught a fish, like a big fish. It's a cobia, and I caught one. Awesome. <laughs> had the best time. And then I got to give a speech to the group about using social media for our industry. Good morning! Good morning. Something that was really kind of cool to end my year was to be featured on the ACHR News as one of their Newsmakers of the Year. which is just so exciting for me to be in their magazine. They're gonna send me one of their actual physical magazines, which is gonna be really cool. I can put that in my little collection of stuff. The interview was scheduled while I was in Florida for New Calgon. I have to do a telephone interview now, but I've had to check out of my room and it is so windy outside. I was gonna take the call from the beach, but instead, <laughs> I'm gonna go in there. I might even close the door. <laughs> Alright, that's done. <laughs> I had my bag in there with me too. It's a good thing I'm small. And <laughs> that's gonna be always one of my fondest memories of my Florida trip and this article. <laughs> I changed a lot of filters this year. A bunch of fans, evaporator fans, blower fans, couple of condenser fans. We only have one crane day this year. We had one rooftop unit replacement. Worked on many ice machines. We replaced seven water source heat pump units.
cleaned a lot, a lot of coils. Some of my favorite new Calgon products from this year. We visited a bunch of really, really interesting job sites. Had some good times with my brother and my dad. and generally really enjoyed all of my HVAC adventures this year. guys well that was my year wow so many fun adventures and memories thank you so much for being part of them thank you for being here to watch them thank you for everything thank you for a great year and i'm so so excited to start 2024 with all of those opportunities and possibilities open and ready for us um happy new year see you next year
and ah! on the eighth 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 ah! <laughs> my brother later on in September <laughs> dehumidify